Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I want to talk to everybody about bedbug interception devices. And I have an example right here next to me. And, and what these are is these were probably first introduced to the market uh, back around, let's say, 2008, 2009. And what they are is they're designed to go under the legs of beds and couches, and they can be used other ways, which I'll get to in a second. And they catch bugs as they travel or naturally around, let's say, an infested environment or an environment that they were just introduced to. And I'll clarify that in a second. And so, as I said, from the inception date that these came onto the market, I've basically been on the bandwagon for interception devices. I think they're an integral tool to bed bug management and detection, and we use them on all services. Um, and also to proactively identify bed bugs if they're there. And so how they're used is that we've got one here. I'm going to go ahead and put it under the leg of this bed. And you can see that as bed bugs, let's say, are brought in on a suitcase from a business trip or are hiding somewhere in the house other than on the bed, as they come to the bed, they're going to have to hopefully be forced to walk up the outside of this device and fall into a well and get trapped. And then you check them periodically to see if there's any bed bugs in there. And uh, a very simple design, a very simple concept, but uh, very, very effective. And, you know, we have caught tens of thousands of bed bugs in these devices, and they can catch bugs, you know, without even doing anything. You just put them in place and check them periodically and, and maintain them, which we'll also get to in a second. But pretty simple. Now, to optimize the effect that these devices have, you really need to make sure that, you know, this bed obviously doesn't have comforters and sheets on it, but if it did, you want to make sure that they're tucked in. You want to force bed bugs to have to use the legs to get onto the bed. And so if a comforter is touching the floor, the bug may use the comforter to get onto the bed. So you want to make sure those things are tucked in, and if you can, try to pull the bed away from the wall. Now that's easier said than done because then your pillows are falling off the bed as you're trying to sleep at night and it can be a real pain. But if you can eliminate that natural bridge from a wall onto the bed, again, you can optimize these devices. Now, I also want to say that these devices should not be seen as a control tool, meaning that you cannot put them in place and they will not solve all of your problems. They should just be used as part of a detection program or as part of a management program or a control program. And so that's more or less interception devices. Now what we have found through research, and again it's going to differ on which one that you're talking about, but is that these can detect between 70 and 80 percent of low-level bed bug infestations. And so what that means is that, you know, a lot of times you'll look at a monitor and they'll have, you know, literature out there that says, you know, caught 87 bugs in two minutes, blah, 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 blah. But when you read more into that research, you quickly see that something like this or any other device was set in a really bad bed bug infestation. I don't need these in that to help me detect if bed bugs are there. Obviously, these can help dramatically to control that problem or help control that problem. And so it's something you want to use when you're treating that infestation. But, you know... In terms of the effectiveness, I want to know what these can do in a low-level bed bug infestation. When there's only a couple bugs there, how often do these detect them? And research has shown 70 to 80 percent of the time in low-level bed bug infestations, interception devices can be a very effective tool. Um, and so they're one of the better options we have out there for bed bug detection, but it can also take a week or more for these devices to catch a bug. And so it does take a little bit of time. And that's why we highly recommend them to just put into your home and leave them in place, clean them periodically, and, and you know, that way they're just there catching bugs if God forbid you bring them in. So, that's kind of the basics behind interception devices. Um, they can be used a lot of different ways. Uh, what I want to say up front is there are a couple different options out there. Um, the one that I'm holding here, and I want to say this now, is that, you know, this is a device called the Blackout. And I want to say that, you know, I actually was uh, integral in developing this particular device. And so obviously I have a vested interest in the success of this device. But if you go back and, and look at Bedbug Central or any other sites I'm affiliated with, I've been talking about interception devices well before this was launched in late 2012. And so obviously I have a vested interest in this device, but I truly believe in the concept of interception devices. And there are other ones out there like this one here, which is called the Climb Up Insect Interceptor. And so in regards to which one to use, you want to do your research, see what's out there, see what works best for your bed, for your home, um, all you know, important things to consider. And each has their pros and cons. You know, this one has talcum powder, and there's other ones out there that have other lubricants inside them to help keep the bugs in. There are others out there that don't use those lubricants and, and you know, each has its pro and con. So you should do that research and, and figure out which one fits best for you. 
One last thing I want to talk about with interception devices, because I know I'm going to get the question, is that what if this doesn't fit under the leg of my better couch? Your bed leg, you know, is a big wooden block, and it obviously doesn't go in this small inner well. Well, what we've actually found, or I should say what universities have found through research, is that you can actually just put these right on the floor, around the bed, or around the area where people are sleeping, and the bugs will a lot of times just naturally walk up and fall inside of them. Now, they may not catch quite as many bugs that way, so if you can get your bed onto a metal bed frame that fits inside these wells, obviously that's the best decision, but you can just put them on the floor and they will catch bed bugs quite readily. You can even put them out around the perimeter of a room along the baseboard and they'll catch bed bugs quite readily. And so, as I said before, there's a lot of different ways to use these. You can use them as a detection tool to help you identify if you have a problem. You can use them as part of a control program or you can just put them out randomly to help you keep an eye or catch as many bugs as you possibly can. And so that's bed bug interception devices. Um, do your research, find out one, which one works best for you. Um, if anybody has any questions on the topic, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I hope to see everybody soon enough.